Hello there, folks. Welcome back to AFC Tables with me, Jeff FM. Now, listen, look, let's let's talk about it. Where have I been? Showdown weekends. I hate the fact they're so busy. Uh, there's going to be a video soon about changes to the channel. But for now, we're going to get involved. Back with AFC Tables, back in the January transfer window, and an FA Cup second round to play. Is this finally the time we make it to the third round? Let's find out. Run that intro. folks welcome back good to see you i hope it finds you very very well sorry about my busyness again i said it before i'll say it again follow me on twitter you'll keep very much up to date with everything that's going on over there at twitter.com slash dr benji there's loads of there's links in the description you've seen them you ignore them some of you don't some of you love the links some of you you're clicking them every day they do the same thing apart from today where i've put a secret link so Feel free to have a look at that. Sheffield Wednesday then, and Langston Orient are going to come up today. Uh, last time we met, it was the 2-1 victory over Chesterfield, a, a game which I'm sure is very much in your memory. 5-2 uh, against Wickham followed that before 3-2 defeat to Ipswich. Really quite annoying. And then two back-to-back -back draws, AFC Wimbledon and Reading. But you can see it there, the 1-0 win over Wrexham in the FA Cup means that today, as mentioned in the intro, we have got a chance to finish, or say finish, get to the third round of the FA Cup for the first time ever, facing one of the big boys for the first time ever. League 1 then <sighs> those three results have not helped it's fair to say and we sit currently then in seventh position there isn't a seventh position playoff spot uh we do have a game in hand if we were to win that uh then we do again go up the table again you can see it's very very tight three teams on 49 a couple on 51 and uh yeah our game in hand right now very very handy uh, against bolton whenever that comes up so that's gonna be exciting but there's a chance this season for us to do something of course newly promoted there's a lot on the line let's run through the team though for this first game against sheffield wednesday who are currently let's call them mid table so team wise i I have changed things up a little bit. I have two extremely good strikers, and I figured it was probably time to try and get the best out of both of them at the same time. Stone one side, Ellison the other, with Barras and Fitzpatrick sitting slightly deeper. Blake, Russell, Fleet, Ralph, and Concannon in goal. But the real talking point then does come with the front two. Ollie and Balo have both got 14 goals this season, and whether they can develop a partnership to really catapult us to hopefully much better things then well i'm gonna give it a chance um obviously the system you play at the moment only uses one striker so you only get the best out of one of them and then you have to sort of play ollie at right wing and things like this and it's not really optimal right so playing them together it's a system i've used before i don't know how well it's going to do in league one on a, on a more consistent basis but we're going to find out this season so without any further ado let's get into the game can the two up front be the business makers the business makers that's different can they do the business or can they be the magic makers i don't know it is of course viewers a party atmosphere i've been getting a lot of tweets about it twitter again someone follow me um no we get a lot of tweets about the party atmosphere slash contrasting atmosphere t-shirts a lot of you have got them again make sure you send me pictures on twitter i love seeing them very very cool um if you send me one in a, in a bizarre location even better obviously i realized that with covid you're probably not going anywhere other than somewhere local but if you've got one and you live in a cool place then send it over i can put it in the collage i have like loads of pictures of people that have bought merch of mine over the years and one day i'm going to put it into some huge sort of merch based collage to put in an office of mine um as well i won't be putting that goal in there because that's hurt my feelings that's annoying one nil sheffield wednesday five minutes in once again starting attacking going really really well away from home and we go a goal down it's not a great free kick i think can cannon can do more now the concern this season is it sort of just slowly ebbs away from us to the position of suddenly being one of those seasons where you come mid table and there isn't that much to speak of really hopefully of course that's not the case there's plenty of time in this game uh, left to go as that there is a very bold choice by the defender who massively gets away with it and then they win the knockdown god the, the, this game is on a fine cooth cooth fine tooth comb that's not a phrase i'm just combining oh my word um Right, I don't know what's worse there, the defending or the sentences. What's questionable about this highlight? And we're going to watch it again, because we're going to focus on the movement of Royce Duncan Cannon, who so far this year has been a bit of a star. Goalkeeper-wise here, we missed another tackle there. Sony was next. Positioning there, Royston. Not, not your strong suit. And then just trying to pick up a ball that's not there. It's poor on a few levels. Ten minutes gone, Sheffield Wednesday 2, 10-0. Okay, this is getting quite ugly now as uh, Scott plays the ball in. We kind of half head it away, but no, actually, Ellison on it now. We've got to be better in transition here as Below picks it up, of course. Ollie to his left hand side. The two of them, well, the defensively, they've cocked it up. Ollie, oh, we've got to score those. It's still 2 0. He's got to be putting that away. 
There's a corner. Of course, we'll take it short as their defender thinks about staying near us and then runs away. Barras, who we know has got really good passing ability, finds Fitzpatrick. Back to Stone. Back to Fitzpatrick. Back to Barras. And somehow it's offside. What are we doing? Come on, I've not had an episode for a little while. The, the showdown weekends do get very, very hectic. I've had a headache for about six days. Um, but here we are. Back at it. Um, if you're looking for more Dr. Benji content, this is just a one big advert. Um, if you're looking for more Dr. Benji content, the second channel, uh, there's two G GTA videos going up every single day this week. So if you, if you like Grand Theft Auto and you want to see me play it as a character that's not really me, then um, cool. Well, there's lots there. There's 70 plus episodes. So if you're looking for something, they're all quite short. You'd enjoy just, you know, watching through the story of me, Ron and the Weathermen as Below. Oh, dearie me. That's what you're looking for. Mate Below with a fantastic strike. 2-1. And look, if you're not interested in the second channel, stay here because this action is firing up. Ollie travels with the ball. The challenge comes in on him. But this is so important of having two strikers, right? Normally, Ollie wouldn't be there. Ellison, they pause it back. There's below. It's a really good strike. And the keeper just has a lay down. Tough work, football. Sometimes it's good just to you know, take a load off. Just completely lay back. Just sort of like, have a goal if you want. It's the, it's the giving that I appreciate from Sheffield Wednesday. You know, they're just willing to help us out. As uh, Ollie's back on it, plays it across, sort of. It wasn't great, was it? Barras into Fitzpatrick trick and now we're slowly starting to work things blake to ellison again ollie's back on it lays it off to him ellison back to blake and this is nice possession from us really intricate stuff too as below's offside there i'm pretty sure it doesn't matter they're gonna give it no var at this level can we see that again he looks about a yard off and i mean, like maybe my eyes have deceived me viewers maybe there's mistakes being made with my um with these glasses of mine but they're gonna show it he looked off to me maybe it's just perfect timing as um i mean yeah, I'm still not sure. And I've seen it in slow motion. They're going to show the lines this time, as if we didn't want to see it a third time. Uh, oh, well, then uh, that defender at, at right back, I think, is just playing him on. Sort of, right? So before half time, not only is it 2 2, Fleet, one of our best players, has got the ball at his feet. View is very confusing. Um, and now, is there a chance for us to score a third and take the lead in this game? Ball played in. Below's there again. Well, blow me, viewers. I mean, can you believe it? A turnaround that none of us quite expected. Thames 3, Sheffield Wednesday 2, and your comments about going more cautious or defensive have been proven wrong. Balance is the way forward, viewers. Stone, lovely control from him. And the delivery is absolutely sensational. Below couldn't miss, could he? Wonderful stuff. All right. Well, look at us. Look at us now, viewers. There, there, there ain't no stopping us now. I'm moving on. Yeah, I mean, I think we've all had fun there, haven't we? There's one thing that's been lacking from my videos recently is a certain level of music. So um, if you've got any requests, folks, do leave them in the comment section. I'll, I'll perform any any song you want, really. I'll do a medley. Sure, I will. Not a problem. As um, Ollie, oh, nearly picks that. Doesn't quite get there, though. Played forwards and it's launched back again in this direction. Of course, with the front two now, you do really want them to interact. Does that ball forwards? Saved by Concanon. Um, of, of course, it's sort of, I'll, I'll bring it up. Um, with this system, I'm playing two advanced forwards. So one dropping slightly deeper to link with the other is not necessarily as likely. But the theory is that they'll always be able to run into the channels on either side and then hopefully bring other players into play and have that other striker sitting in the middle ready to score goals. When you're asking one striker to do that, you're expecting their dribbling to be really good, which fortunately for us, both strikers have that ability. But imagine having two of them doing it. And that's what we've gone for instead. As uh, Sheffield Wednesday, Ellison there. It was a bizarre way to tackle, but it worked out in the end as we give the ball away. We get it back straight away below on, on a hat-trick already. He's been... Referee, can we have some order there? As Joel Russell is going to take the penalty. Not on, not, on, not on this world, he's not. Below's going to step up and take it. I want him to score four goals, viewers. Uh, he wins the penalty. He's got a hat-trick. Can he now score it? It's currently Thames uh, 3, Sheffield Wednesday 2. Will that change with this penalty? Yes, it will. 4-2. Below is having a sensational game. Is it Belog? Blogger could be blogger, although you know that wouldn't really make sense for a video. Four two, God, there shouldn't be so much surprise in my voice. Maybe this is what I needed. I needed a little break, a little bit of a refresh, you know. As uh, they've already scored one free kick today, in the set piece merchants, the Sheffield Wednesday team. Oh, give me a f right. Who is this guy? I'm signing him now. What's his free kick taking? This guy, Emerson Harewoods, with his, tw his 13 free kick taking, a striker with nine finishing. Oh, I'm just appalled by him, viewers. I really am. It's a really good free kick, though. It's the perfect angle for it. Both times, can Cannon gets a hand on it, but can't keep it out. It's the power he puts on them, viewers. It's difficult. All right, still leading though, as Sheffield Wednesday. If I don't end up winning this game after. After going up 4-2 there's going to be some sadness and I've, I've bigged up balance viewers but now it's having me nervous as parkinson cuts inside played through oh my goodness me it's 4-4 
what do you do now do you continue to try and go for it or do you just sit here and sort of panic ollie's gonna come off i'm gonna bring cabbage on and i'm gonna bring nebla on for stone on the left hand side a little bit of a refresh in our side i think they may have done the same thing and it's proof don't let them score a get viewers this is painful russell to nebla who's just come on of course cabbage now on the field of play we know he's got pace and strength to, to get past anybody and there he goes below in for, in for his fifth oh he's missed it are you kidding He's on a 10 rating right now. And we've got 20 minutes left. I'm surprised it doesn't drop down after that miss. Oh, no, not a, not a free kick. Whipped in. Danger. Headed on goal. Oh, my goodness me. 4-4. Four, four. What do you do now? Do you encourage? Do you tell them, come on, boys. One more one more effort. Barras in the middle, by the way. Having an absolute stinker. Uh, he's going to come off. McKinney's going to come in there. Uh, we're going to change these boys around as well. Because I think McKinney prefers to be on the right. Uh, we've got Fitzpatrick. He prefers to be on the left. I'm going to make them quite supportive. So they're not too deeply set. And they're quite level with one another in attack. So here we go then. Is there going to be a final moment? Or is this game, is this game going to end 4-4? Well, viewers, there's a moment of magic maybe. Below into Ellison now. Racing forward. And again, we've still got the FA Cup to come after this this has been manic ellison can he put a ball into the center he can below's there oh it's cleared away don't counter here you can see the midfield combining fitzpatrick challenged by three men and now harewood as he turns and looks for a play player racing through and there's parkinson and the challenge is missed they're in on goal but royston can cannon oh my god viewers why oh this is one of those games in football manager that you don't forget in a hurry we've got we've absolutely we've we've oh, we've bottled it and then we've gone four to up and then we've bottled it again i've never bottled it twice in a game sheffield wednesday four thames oh, sorry sheffield wednesday five thames four i'm so there's too many numbers is there going to be a late moment of drama five minutes added on it's a corner played in headed away is there a counter for us boys get there someone challenge him is there a chance they've got a man over on that side Kavanaugh racing forward pulls it back to the edge of the box oh my god king cannon is there still time for a goal i've been on balance the whole time and he could argue should get more attacking but i've scored four goals we've lost five four Below ends up on a 6.7, uh, sorry, 9.7, despite scoring four goals. I don't want to know what the, what do the fans think of that? I, I say I don't want to know, but I'm desperate to know. I hope they just had a good time out in Sheffield. The the perfect game of football should always end nil-nil. A match like that means the game plans haven't worked. That's from Jan there. I'm not reading anymore. That's enough, thank you, Jan. Flipping heck. That's infuriating. My headphones are off. I'm, I'm infuriated. And now not long to play not long between games really we play late in orient and again i want i want a big third round tie the worst thing the worst thing that could happen for us is they do the draw for the game and oh, for the next round i know it's afterwards it's the sixth so if we get past late in orient of course formerly our feeder club or our senior affiliate it should be said and now a chance to beat them and a chance to have a big plum time you've got to think financially we could do with that really an away trip to I don't know, Old Trafford or Anfield or the Emirates, wherever, right? We just need to get money in the door. That's a brilliant connection on that. Punch. Oh, no, I've just, I think I broke both hands. Won't be signing up for the YouTube boxing anytime soon. Ow. Who would I fight in the YouTube boxing world? Um, mm, good question. Someone I could beat easily that would, have, would put up very limited competition. Um, is that worth the space? <laughs> Classic comedy viewers. No one on the phone, of course. Um, no where's the remote gone all right then next game here it is then can we progress in this competition i would I'd absolutely love it if we could um sounds very kevin keegan that doesn't it now because this is the fa cup i don't have to i don't have to succumb to the restrictions of lone players so guard is going to come in at right back uh, and we're going to change things a, a few things around so we've got six players in the squad right now again i don't think the rules apply so everything's fine billy ford's going to play as well it's going to be a, it's going to be a lonely atmosphere viewers Chambers on the bench as well. Right then, here we go. Ford in goal. Uh, Guard Fleet, Russell, Blake, Barras and Fitzpatrick in the centre with Ellison Stone, Ollie and below up front. We need... I really... Look, third round. This is the moment, viewers. In terms of where Leighton Orient are, in terms of where we are, this is... There's a real chance here. Leighton Orient come into this game with second in the league right so it's not going to be an easy game but again i still think it's one of those games that we have the potential to win we're on attacking from the off away from home why have i done it they're in again okay they've played it out but again it's still technically having me at oh my good ford there has gone over like a focus he's flown across the goal which is it seems ridiculous we've gone to balanced viewers which as we saw before is i mean how high has that gone okay um he's absolutely flawless as a system so everything should be fine as ford picks it up one of these big kicks over the top would go miss towards below oh no okay they're taking control they've got barras already on a booking good lord calm yourself down sunshine that's mcintosh don't foul him barras barras oh my good grief mcintosh continues across oh my dearie me fletcher michael fletcher it's not quite da 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 it's 
Michael Fletcher. Lovely little reference. That's annoying, viewers. Macintosh on that side. Plays it across. I think they bought him recently, Macintosh. He was overpriced and should have gone with a PC instead. Spot on. All right. Positive. Encourage. We've got to try and get something out of the boys. Barras already been on the booking. Is obviously not ideal. Um, second half. We might have to check. Oh, they're in again. Oh, Ford. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, I'm defending viewers. Optional. Why is today's episode so stressful? I've already lost 5-4. Now I'm playing an FA Cup game, which I've, I've said quite a few times. I don't know if you've picked up on it. I really want to win. And now we're a goal behind. We're not doing anything in the game. Goodness me. Right, I've seen people do this in streamer showdowns. Just, they just play four four twos, and for whatever reason, it feels inexplicable. They just win. So, yeah, I mean, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. If it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. I told you, musical medley every single episode. Right, corner. We'll play it short. I know that much for for certain. As Ollie plays it to Ellison now, back to Ollie into the penalty area. Pulls it back. Below is there. Oh dearie me. As Ellison gets on it again, the ball played in. Every time I say below, I want I think of the Jungle Book, but of course that was below and he was a bear, so slightly different. Right, another bit of possession for us as uh, defensively. Other than the goal, we've looked okay. Stone now racing at the back line. Oh, finding something from him. Ollie's in on goal. Oh, yes. Philip Balkanainen from Tony Stone. And it's Thames 1, Leighton Orient 1. We're back in the game. And honestly, I'm just happy that while we're playing this game, the side men aren't doing a crossbar challenge because they do quite a lot of videos at, at Leighton Orient. So, handy. The last thing you need when you're playing Leighton Orient is mini minter. Shooting for, shooting for goal, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry with the kids, honestly. KIS, he's good. I'm a big fan of him. He does some great work. Big into Christmas presents. Does a lot of rapping. <laughs> I should clarify, I've been doing YouTube videos before. Some of those guys, those guys were born. So, <laughs> I can make jokes. Should have uploaded this video on a, on a Sunday. Shouldn't I? Some of you don't watch the Sidemen and don't get any of this, do you? I can't imagine the football manager audience and the Sidemen audience crosses over all that much. Although it clearly oh, it does with me. Anyway, ball headed away. I don't know if you can hear Doug crying in the background. Um, he's, up, he's, he's annoyed the recent Sidemen Sunday was actually meant for more Sidemen. So, uh, one of those things. Guard clears it away and um, Below flicks it on. And now Ollie. Oh, he's got a chance, does he? If he can get past this man, he's really struggling to do so. Below, back to Ollie. The two of them combined. Ollie can't miss. Oh, he puts it in. It's 2 1. We're going to the third round. We're going to Anfield. Lovely bit of football between the two of them. Oh, the timing of the pass was superb. And there's Ollie flicking it past the keeper. You don't see that type of finish or that type of goal very often. Getting to that sort of angle and just having to like tap it in. I really enjoy that. All right, we've been positive the whole game. Um, I've just got to very attacking. I've misclicked. Oh, good grief. Are we going to score on very attacking? The first people to do it ever. Oh, chance goes in. Goes back in again. Oh, he scored. We're so attacking. Goodness gracious me. Leighton Orient 1. Thames 3. Goal scored by Oli Canine and the Mini Minter. Unbelievable. There's Blake on it. Fires it on goal. Stone picks it up. Played in. There's Oli. Unbelievable. All right, the time's ticking away here. And I, I mean, go defensive, Ben, for heaven's sake. Waste as much time as possible. And let's get this game over and done with. On to the draw, viewers. This is fantastic. We're going to beat Lane Orient, which is great for the league, really, because they're above us in the league table. It gives us hope of being promoted this season. But the important thing is we have progressed in the FA Cup. Last game, it was below. This one, it was Ollie. The two of them combining together as well. We saw the duo at work. And um, yeah, lots to be happy about. Not if you can hit Doug, though. He's screaming the house down right now. Foot golf. I'm not watching foot golf, he said. For those that aren't aware of Doug, Doug is nine months old and he can't speak. All right, 30 grand for going through, but that's not what we're here for. We're not here for the money. We're here for the gate receipts, which is the still, yeah, it's still money, isn't it? All right, then, here we go. FA Cup time. Who will we face? Now, we'll go through in a very slow order. There's still over 50 teams to call. Of course, if you play football manager, you'll know there's a brief, I don't know if they've got rid of it, actually. I don't get to FA Cup third rounds. A brief bit of lag as Boston get Leeds United. What a battle that's going to be for them as uh, Sheffield Wednesday go through because we've avoided them. They get Chelsea, though. Of course, we won. A big away game, a uh, Premier League side. As uh, I mean, I'm looking through. There are still some big boys left in this. Manchester United, Liverpool, yet to be drawn out. As Tem oh my god, I didn't even think about it. Oh my god, okay, could it be? Could it be? Oh, it's Lincoln City. The League One side. I forgot for for a moment there. I totally forgot that. Tem oh, okay. Well, we're out now. Is it going to be a big game? Is it going to be a sellout, viewers? It is against Everton of the Premier League. Well, we know what next episode is going to be. It's going to be AFC Thames versus Everton as uh, the rest of the sides then are being drawn out. Do we have a chance against Premier League Everton? They're ninth right now. Uh, in terms of real-life players that still exist, we'll obviously go for some of the older ones. Uh, he is still a player that exists in real life, um, as is he. There's a few there, right? But uh, overall, we don't know their side. Uh, the player of maximum value then, is Ryan. Yeah. Okay. Right. See you next episode, viewers. Good lord.